Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From the title, you guys already know that today I am going to be reviewing slash demoing the new Juvia's Place foundation and concealer. This is their first complexion line. They've never had anything like this before, so I'm super excited. The foundation is $20 and the concealer is $14, I believe. They've got 42 shades, which is phenomenal i love the fact that they have a range of shades which cover different undertones it's good to see a brand that understands that not every brown girl not every black girl has a warm undertone some have cool some have warm some have deep undertones each of their foundation is named after an island or a country which is expected from juvia's place because they do embrace black culture with this foundation it's meant to have a velvety finish i've tried this before i've done a ig video featuring the product and for me it had a soft matte finish and i love that i don't like a super harsh matte finish because it makes my skin look cakey and super dry i'm gonna get straight into my skin i've already done my eye this eye look is gonna be up on my ig also guys excuse this annoying scar that's on my lips hopefully it goes away soon i'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin with the fasali rose gold mist I am a fan of Fasali's products, you guys know that. The reason as to why I'm using this mist as well is because it is a hydrating mist and because this foundation is a matte one, I don't want to be overly, I don't want to be too matte. So in this foundation, I am the shade 350, which is called Somalia. So because I've received a PR kit, I'm not too sure if you receive um, like the leaflet when you buy the foundation but I've got like a guide right here for all of the shades. So my shade Somalia is for dark tan skin with warm undertone. I personally like my foundation a little bit darker. I find that when I wear the exact perfect matching foundation, by the time I highlight, I look really, really bright and I, I don't like that look, you know? Then, I, then my whole face looks too, too light so i'm going with a warmer foundation a really bright concealer and it helps to even it out for me there's also a flat head foundation brush with this foundation like i said because i have tried it before i know that the coverage is so intense but a little goes a long way i don't know why i got so carried away and squirted so much onto my face but you guys are gonna see how quickly it spreads and how amazing the coverage is. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? To be fair, I am a full face beat girl, so I don't really mind, you know, um, a little extra foundation anyway. I like to look flawless and this brush is amazing. I love flat head brushes because it really like it gets the product in and I always like to pat in my foundation as opposed to swipe it across. Finish the rest of my face, do my forehead and then come back with the concealer. Alright guys, so now that I'm done with the foundation, you guys can see how flawless it is and how soft it looks on the skin. It literally melts onto your skin. With their concealers, I use shade 16 and shade 12. So the darker shade starts at 1 and the lightest shade ends at 24. The concealer itself is full coverage but it feels light and a little goes a long way now with my under eye i like that to be you guys know me already i like that to be bright so i use a considerate amount to highlight with with this one it is a little bit too dark but i didn't get a lighter shade so i just make it work and use less products i don't like it when a concealer dries really quickly i'm using the instapop cheek brush from real techniques for my concealer it's like a slanted flat head brush 
I love it so much. Exactly like the foundation, I just pat that in, especially under the eye. I don't want to leave any concealer sitting on the surface. Um, I make sure that that goes in and also because I haven't finished my under eye, I use the concealer as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to put just beneath my waterline. So I make sure that's just nice and pressed in. Once I'm done blending that, I'll be right back. To contour using the darker concealer, I am literally just going to dab. When I blend this, you guys are going to understand why that little dab is more than enough. I'm not even going to dab on the other side yet, just because the product that's on the brush from this side may actually be enough for the other. You see? I haven't even done a lot. Let me just take that over to this side. Let me go back over here. I'm just going to have to take that foundation brush and pat, pat, pat until it does something. <laughs> It got better though okay so now i'm going to set my under eye i think the next product that i'm waiting for from juvia's is a uh, translucent setting powder that would make me really really happy obviously they would have different shades i expect but that would make me really really happy i would love to see because so far laura mercier they are my go-to my favorite i haven't found anything to top laura mercier as yet everything else that i've tried um starts off well throughout the day gets really dry sometimes so whilst i bake i'm gonna do the rest of my face then i will come back on camera just to round up the video and to let you guys know what i think although i already think that you know what i think but um let's just see how everything looks together and then you can be the judge of everything as well so guys i am back and this is the completed look not gonna lie to you guys my skin looks flawless okay oh, this is so delectable i said to you guys i like my foundation a little bit darker so that when i highlight it balances out and this is what i meant as you guys can see it still looks really really nice it doesn't look dark at all i still find that i have a lot of radiance going on even though the foundation itself is a matte foundation my skin itself looks very buttery and that's what i love the most i'm not cracking my concealer is in place and it locks in place it doesn't move I'm just in love with this complexion line guys for twenty dollars you're getting like fifty pounds worth well fifty US dollars worth of quality okay but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one love you so much bye Mwah.